Alrighty, here's another video walkthrough of a 2008 Itasca Meridian 37H. Now before we get started, I want to say sorry about how tight it is. I, I won't be able to step back and get you a full look at the coach, but we'll still be able to look at the whole exterior and whole interior. Let's start outside. First thing to point out, it is full body paint, so you do have a clear coat over this, not decal, so if it is sitting out in the sun, you won't have too many issues. It is, a, is on the big 22.5 tires. Something to point out. Now you have plenty of compartment space, no slide out on the passenger side except for the bedroom, so it's all flat right here. Once you can see all your compartments right under with that nice heavy duty plastic, and as you can see, lots of pass-throughs. Not the full pass-throughs, top passes, but still plenty of room there. And these all lift from the bottom up, these compartment doors. You have an outdoor entertainment system here. No TV, but it does have speakers and a CD player. Next up, we got your propane tank. 27.9 gallons on this guy. And of course, your main awning does go out quite a bit further, but I'm gonna get a little close to this other RV next to us. And you do, of course, have a uh, automatic door awning. Both are automatic. Another thing to point out, these guys do come pre-equipped with side cameras, side view cameras, which, you know, you don't know how useful it is until you're on the highway 40 feet down the road. <laughs> you can, of course, dual wheels in the back, single axle back there. Here's your battery compartment. You can see all your battery switches. Six total batteries, deep cycles, two, uh, two chassis batteries, four house batteries. Now one thing that's a little bit unique about Itasca and Winnebago's is they actually use basement air systems. So that's why you see that. It's not a radiator right there. The radiator is actually in the rear here, um, but they have an intake and an out for your AC unit. And it's actually, it's a true air system. It's very similar to like a residential system. It's got two compressors. I think it's anywhere between 26 to 28,000 BTU output. We got this side. There's your main slide right there. Two slide unit here. And you can see those fans there. So that's where that AC unit is. 50 amp power service. You can tell by this gauge wiring here. You got a big old inverter in there. This one specifically is... It looks like it's a 2500 and a couple inputs lights got auto leveler there battery mode solenoids all that good fun stuff there now, as you can see the exterior on this guy is in exquisite condition no big gouges no big you know scratches nobody hit trees up top always nice next compartment we got your dump station that comes with your outdoor shower winterization options grain your black actual dump uh, you can see some water lines water pumps flushes and it does have the pass through for the hose so you just run it there straight down then you keep this area nice and clean so and it's also lined with that nice heavy duty plastic there now one thing i love obviously we got a slide here that comes out really hard to access your slide out compartments when they don't come out with them but they give you the side door latch here so it's much easier you don't have to lift up and then bend down even more but that gives you access to the other side of the storages here and you, this is the other part of the pass-throughs see this slide right here looks like it's about two and a half feet right around there fuel fill right there nice big tanks on here and then a little electrical compartment here mainly for uh, service people to access generator exhaust now this coach comes with an 8000 standard quiet diesel now ours specifically has 1274 in terms of hours it's here airline there a couple fluid checks harder to access they don't make it too easy unless it's on a slide off for the gen set but you realistically unless you're a mechanic won't be going in there too much so that's a quick walk through the exterior let's jump inside now you got two electric steps that come out and then a few that go in right when you walk into your left you have your levelers and then light controls and awning controls handle on the right and here's your first look. So it is all slid out right now. Lights are on. Some of the blinds are up. I gotta fix some of the strings on the blinds, but still. 
you can see it's got that beautiful curved cabinetry i mean for an 08 every time i take people in here they're blown away it's an 08 because generally you get you know awful patterns on the valances and the couches and things like that this one's a little bit more modern i guess you could say even though it is coming up on 12 years old let's start up front though sitting in the pat or the driver's seat visors of course Well, the visor's not working, probably because the motor's on. Mirror heat, mirror controls, information bar. Then you got your Allison electronic shifter, light controls. Your very nice cup holder here, premium. Battery boost, fog light, standard stuff. Then you got defrost fans, docking lamps, and then of course your air horn here generator controls very honestly i mean not necessarily plain but not much going on up front which i kind of like it keeps it basic you don't have too many buttons here a little drawer down there with all your extra pieces radio control for your backup camera and side view cameras now this one has a screen that wraps all the way around you can see they both meet right in the middle a couple fans up front, LED lights, and there's a couple screens here. They won't work in, but these do come down. You got some sunshades there. You also do have a step cover on the other side with the passenger seat. You got, uh, let's see, another sun visor control, which you can control from either side, and then your lamp control for right above here. Now these are these seats, one thing I love about Itascas and Winnebago's is their seats, their leather, it all withstands the test of time since Winnebago started as a furniture company. So these haven't been recovered. These are the original coverings on all of these and they're in beautiful condition. Now your seats, driver's seat, you know, it's got eight way control up, down, angle it. Passenger seat though is manual, which is not, you know, abnormal by any means, but you do have one of these guys. I'll put you down for a second. Find it. There it is. So you do have a leg extension, which is very nice for the passenger. And like I said, pretty basic up front. Let's move on to the galley. So on the passenger side, no slide here except for in the bedroom. So this is all standard. And you can see that beautiful cabinetry all the way throughout. I'm sure they had two chairs here. They probably took one out because you can see the other mounting bracket there. And there's actually a pull-out desk right here. So if you had another chair there, you can put a laptop, read a book, drinks, whatever you would like. It does have the day and night shades. There's a daytime, see a little bit more out. Then your nighttime, can't see anything out. Now to the right of this chair, a little storage area, a couple little out, uh, inputs, outlets. Now the cabinetry above, not super deep, but still plenty of room to store stuff. As you can see, they are all connected. All these right here. I always think this metal one opens, don't let it fool you, it doesn't. And then on the other side, before we get to the kitchen, you got that same style cabinetry above with a separator in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's double check. And you can see these doors, they are nice and curved. Get a little bit more room on this side. Try not to trip and kill myself. Oh, that's one complaint I got right now. That door doesn't open when this is up. Small complaint, I guess you could say. So a decent amount of storage, much deeper than it is on the passenger side. Now, one other thing I absolutely love about Itascas Winnebago is you know how they started as a furniture company. You got electric couches here. So this will lay flat all the way with the push of a button. And then let's see, under you get a, uh, you have a leg rest down here. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you because the lever got detached. I gotta fix that. I just realized it. I kinda wish I fixed that prior to showing this video, but it has a leg rest that pops out, which you can use as a TV tray. Or when this couch is completely flat, it just adds to the bed. So it actually is a much bigger bed than you would think it is. And pretty dang comfortable, honestly. Now, under this cabinetry we just looked at, we got a nice booth dinette with your spring-loaded seats. So you do have storage under there if you're strong enough to lift them up. And this 
table right here. We'll drop down and rest there to turn this into a bed. And I can see you got power outlets over there for a computer or something. Before I forget, I'm gonna go zoom in on this here spec sheet. You can see some of the lengths, chassis model, all that good stuff, what kind of motors in it. Got the 350 Cummins on the Freightliner XC chassis. Here's your tank capacities. Some of the options or standard features in this RV. All right. Now, let's move to the kitchen. Now the kitchen is Corian countertops, so you have the Corian covers for both your sink and your stove top, so it gives you extra counter space, which is a plus. It is a metal sink. Let's look inside, nice and deep. It is so hot here, we try to keep some of the moisture out with these buckets of water, if you're wondering. Real backsplash, not just a sticker. Those stickers are crazy, they peel off within the first couple years. Three burner gas stove top. Now some of these you could, I'm pretty sure with an option gone, gone with an oven. Most people don't use the ovens in RVs, they're just too small. So you actually have a convection microwave, but instead of the oven, you have some drawers here. And these are all solid wood drawers. Four of them right here. First one's a little bit smaller, two in the middle are a little bit bigger, and then the one on the bottom is much taller. And of course, under the sink. So, trash can, awesome. You'd, you'd be surprised how many coaches don't have an area for a trash can. Now these guys, what these are, these are tie downs. These are tie downs for your Corian covers. So these covers up here. If you uh, are gonna be parked for a while, are gonna constantly be using these and don't necessarily need the counter space, store them down below. Alrighty, right above the sink. Another one of those nice rounded storages, massive because it is, so it comes out much further than almost every other cabinet in the RV. And we got even more storage. Let me tell you the amount of spices you can store in here, it's pretty incredible. Or dare I say, a tremendous amount of storage. Convection microwave, like I said. Not the biggest one, but still a lot bigger than a some of these smaller RVs come with. Your TV is located right in the middle of the coach. One, it's a love and hate relationship with this TV. If you're staying somewhere where you can't put your slides out, obviously you lose access to this TV viewing because the slide will come in over it. But most people don't go to places where you can't put your slides out. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. I'm sure you can figure out what's supposed to go there. <laughs> it's supposed to be a speaker. We just got to reinstall it, hook up the wiring, and you got some more back behind there. This is where all your entertainment center really is going to be. You got all your wiring, uh, switch box, you put DVD players, game consoles, Blu ray, whatever you'd want. And then your TV there. Being an 08, I'm sure this was not the original TV here. As you can see, there is plenty of room behind the TV, and that is a Vizio flat screen. So they did update the TV in this coach, but before it was. I guess you could say a little bit thicker. Oh, a little bit of storage right above the TV. I am 5'9". I'm not really tall enough for that. So, hey, if you're six foot, perfect for you. Can hide the cookies away from the wife or something. A little storage under the fridge. I call that a pots and pan storage, nice and deep. Now this one does have an RV fridge. It is a four door Norcold multi-use fridge so the bottom you're going to have your actual refrigerator portion with shelves on each door and then up top you got your freezer top right standard freezer one shelf top left ice maker freezer one shelf now this will run off of electric propane direct sure power whatever it is you'll make it work now your ac is fully ducted through the top even though the actual units are down below so that's actually nice and it i mean a lot of people are always nervous about it only being one single unit now this thing like i said it's just like a residential unit it really high btu rating gets it throughout the coach it works well now here you too canned goods even more spices if you want to get really crazy bobby flay in here and these just come out with a push of a button in great storage for the small area that is provided Right across from that, 
you're gonna have your light controls and your main control panel here. Slide out controls, slide locks, engine preheat, generator, water pumps, see generator hours there. Battery testers, fluid testers or tank testers, and then your AC unit. Now on, behind that to the left, we got your bathroom. Now it's a walkthrough bathroom, so you gotta go through it to get to the bedroom, but it does have a separate bathroom, potty room. Let me look at that first. So it is, if I'm not mistaken, a china toilet, so not plastic. I'm not a big fan of the plastic toilets, honestly. They just feel a little cheap. And then right here, let's kind of see if I can get you an angle. It's a little dark, I'm sorry, but there's a little bit of storage. It looks like it's about at least 18 inches deep. And then above, we have even more storage. Now I know somewhere in this coach we can put a washer and dryer. I think it might be on the other side or it might be in here. We'll, we'll investigate that. But then, let me step back, kind of give you a different look at the bathroom. Here's your shower, of course. It is a corner shower. And honestly, it's really not too bad in terms of seat. One piece, one piece plastic. You do have a nice little seat in here. Those are rated up to 250 pounds. I had to do a lot of research to figure that out. And honestly, you heard me, I'm 5'9". There's, my gosh, there's plenty of room. You could be, as long as you're not a professional NBA player, you're gonna be fine in the shower. Fantastic fan right above. Now something pretty unique about this coach is it does have a nice little, I don't know, makeup area, vanity, whatever you want to call it, but it's part of a slide. So the slide goes from that corner down right past your full closet there. And that does all push in and push out. Like I said, part of a slide. A little medicine cabinet there. The three drawers below the makeup area. Oh, that one's even taller. Let me tell you, the amount of socks and underwear you can fit in this thing is just incredible. Now, of course, you got that same Corian top in the bathroom, which I love. Just gives it that extra, extra detailing that this thing deserves. Lots of storage, not too much intrusion by the water lines there, the plumbing. Another medicine cabinet, a little bit less storage because it is a corner, but still good to have. And then, of course, your bedroom. It is a queen bed. It looks like a standard length queen bed too, which is nice. Let's see, is there storage below? Storage below, access points for the motor. Pretty tough with one hand. Here's your wall closet with lights inside. Step back, kind of give you a look. So a good amount of wardrobe, lots of places to hang. Shoes, whatever you'd want. Oh, you know what, here, this is good to look at. Here's kind of some of your weights, terms. If you want to pause and check those out. And then on the other side of the closet, a full length wardrobe. One thing I do like too that you don't see too often is full on side tables. I know for some reason I've seen a lot of people that RV end up having CPAP machines. So you gotta have a power outlet, which this one does have right there and a big enough area for the actual machine. So this does pass both of those. Nice little, don't worry about me, but nice little mirrors behind the bed. Storage above. Now, very unique doors, too. They do curve, which is kind of nice. Let's move on over to this corner and check out that last one. And you do have reading lights above and speakers, as you can see. I don't have them on, but... So a little bit smaller table on the right side, on the driver's side, but still a table with nice long drawers. Your TV is right in front of the driver's side sleeper. Another upgrade, they, as you can see behind, a little bit of room back there, so they did upgrade that. And looking at this water line. So that means your washer and dryer is gonna actually be put in the bathroom if you wanted to put one in. Looked like you had a room for a combo unit, possibly even a stack if you did a little bit of carpentry work. And of course you got a little sliding door here. Separate yourself if you're traveling with anybody. Make them so they don't come into your main domain here. And then it 
doesn't have like a like a sliding door to separate the bathroom from the shower or the bedroom living whatever you want to call it but you could actually just use this as almost a separator there and that'll give you a nice little shutout of course you still have a gap down below and above but it is definitely better than nothing if you are traveling with family and there you go a quick walkthrough 2008 itasca meridian 37h model so i hope i gave you a good look a good understanding of what this coach has to offer and if you have any questions contact taylor at padata rv center thank you so much hope you have a great day